Hi all, welcome to my channel Tech Transform. A very happy Diwali to all of you. In this video, we are going to see how to set up PySpark notebook on Amazon EMR uh, in order to work with Hoodie. So let's move to agenda. We are going to create an EMR cluster. Then after creating the cluster, we are going to connect to the master node of that cluster using SSH. And the third part is we are going to uh, copy a lot of uh, jars, Hoodie jars basically from your local uh, master node environment to HDFS of master okay so basically what happens when you creating cluster uh, and you are choosing a spark which we are going to see uh, so in that case what happens so you don't have to install uh, anything for hoodie so it will be pre-installed uh, with you it will come along with the whatever installation you're doing hoodie will also hoodie jars will also come but it will resides in your local file system in order to work with the uh, PySpar notebook what we have to do, we have to copy those local jars, hoodie jars, to HDFS. And these things we are going to see and we, we have to configure some more things and later we are going to run some sample code. So let's, uh, uh, first thing first, let's create a uh, EMR cluster. So for that I am on my uh, console where I am going to click on EMR, <coughs> uh, on create cluster. So I am going to choose uh, advanced options so where I am choosing here this is a default selection I am choosing this Jupyter Hub Jupyter Enterprise Gateway and Spark so once you are choosing Spark so Hoodie will also install and I am going to choose this uh, I am going to use AWS data catalog of for Hive and Spark Metastore ok then next so this is the thing I am, I am leaving as default and this auto termination let me set it as a 4 hours if it is a 4 hours if it is idle it will terminate automatically the next thing is uh, let me give my name so I will be give that hoodie on EMR let give more generic PySpark hoodie on EMR then this is fine next Next, uh, I've already downloaded the key pair. I'm going to use that in order to connect to SSH. And that's it. Create cluster. So by the time it is uh, going to create cluster, uh, we can create notebooks also. So see, it's already in start starting state. Create a notebook because we are going to interact. Uh, we are going to write our PySpark note codes everything in uh, Jupyter notebook. So now I'm going to create a, a notebook and which I'm going to link with this cluster. So let's give like PySpark hoodie with PySpark. I'm going to choose this latest cluster which is still starting but we can attach this notebook yeah, okay create node network but we have to still wait because uh, a lot of things are happening in the cluster uh, cluster creation side <coughs> okay still starting but now we can actually uh, oh, okay, it is now allowing me to I can SSH to the master node so for that what we need to do we need to copy this SSH command and I need to little bit I need to tweak this my path where I have kept this my locally where I have kept this easy to keep pair.pam file so let me open terminal paste I need to change this uh, path because it is not in my home directory it is in my desktop slash AWS <coughs> access key okay there will be one one thing uh, mm, because uh, we have not enabled the SSH to our e master node so we need to go and uh, allow the SSH to our master node so for that what we need to do we need to go to the security group security groups and here we need to edit the inbound rule so this is uh, this is the security group for master and slave I am going to modify for master so edit inbound rules basically what I am going here I am just allowing the SSH to this node by default it is not allowed 
SSH and I'm choosing my IP save rule to give some yes no prompt which was coming so let's try again fine so now you can see we are in our master node of our UMR cluster let me delete these things let's move to next thing what we uh, what we have to do okay so this is done this is done now we need to copy uh, the jar files from local file system to HDFS so actually to use hoodie with Amazon EMR notebook you need first you need to copy the jars file from local to HDFS of master node so this is the first command we need to done basically what we are doing here we are going to create create this directory so this is done this is created now move to next where we are trying to copy some jars by the time it is also done then the next thing is like we have to copy these jars also Done. So these files, these jars were uh, important when we are trying to run hoodie on PySpark uh, notebook, right? So let's see, uh, let's try to open notebook now. I'm opening in, open in Jupyter. Okay. this is the first time why that's why it is taking so much time not an issue still the kernel is not yet attached let me refresh restart so this is also not happening what happened let me Okay, maybe it was in pending state. A st it's in pending state. That's why it is happening. Let's do one thing. Let's delete this. Create one more notebook. Maybe I have attached so early. That's why that was the issue because that time cluster was not created. Let me give just PySpark. Choose cluster. It's running state. Create notebook. Okay, you now it is in pending and it is allowing me to open in Jupyter. Let's see this time it works or not. Okay, this time it is showing kernel is ready. It should show PySpark actually or Python anything. Maybe let me start with oh, this is ready now.
okay so let me configure this let's switch to our document I need to run this uh, configuration in order to let notebook know where the all the jars are there basically I am providing this uh, HDFS path okay so it is due to like it's the kernel is still not attached change kernel okay uh, we have to actually apply this PySpark kernel okay so now kernel is ready because it was not attached to any of the kernel so that's why this was the issue now see this we, we are able to run this and I wanted to show you um, some of the code also let's say I want to run this spark so this is starting spark application right and basically I will show you I have some code where I will show you this I am able to create a data frame at least or not and in the next video what I am going to do I am going to start from here and show you all the upserts, deletes uh, different different type of operations we are going to perform uh, with hoodie data set so see spark is running so it means uh, we have configured everything just to show you whether my data frame I am able to create a data frame or not let quickly see there is some data or there or not see um, we are able to do means we have configured each and everything now in order to uh, test the hoodie and everything in my uh, next video I am going to demonstrate to you everything working with the whatever I have described in my very first session of a spark hoodie overview where I have told you what type of what what is hoodie is all about what type of things we can do with hoodie what type of different storage formats we have complete crude operations we are going to see in the next video from here so that's what this is that you can say it's like a complete setup kind of thing where we have demonstrated everything from the setup perspective now we are ready to run and in next uh, video I'm going to show you everything so uh, thanks for watching have a good day